All right, everybody, we're back live. In case you didn't know, we're in the nation's capital, but we're heard all across the United States of America and overseas. Yes. So we give a shout out to Tony Brown, Attorney Brown, listening in Switzerland, Geneva. We give a shout out to uh, Stephen in Switzerland. Uh, these are these are great friends of mine who listen every Monday morning. I think it's like three or four o'clock in the afternoon uh, there. So we give a shout out to them. Also, everyone. Today, we're talking about is our race to the Oscars. We have filmmakers Yolanda Lee and Richard Lewis. We're going to bring them on in a few. But seven, uh, well, one, let me make that quick correction. Dr. Plummer is every third Monday. So every third Monday, Dr. Plummer will be on the air to talk to us about um, some great things about our, 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 our beauty hygiene in reference to... Oral beauty. Yeah, oral beauty. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Richard Pelzer. I love that <laughs> oral beauty, Dr. Plummer. All right, now let's go directly into uh, Seven. Talk to us about the Oscars, the nominees, uh, the hopefuls, uh, some of the red carpet beauties, all that good stuff. Talk well, to us. We, we definitely have had some nominations, and I'm going to go by category, and I think you should... Pick your winners. Okay. You okay. So best picture between the artists, the descendants, extremely loud and incredibly close, the help, not to you, lean girl, on that. Girl, come on here now. <laughs> Hugo, Midnight in Paris, Moneyball, The Tree of Life, and War Horse. The help. Go ahead. <laughs> I knew it. And the winner is, with the Sea Island Morning Show Award, is the help. Oh, you're awful. Actor in a leading role. Okay, Dernie and Bashir, I hope I said that right. George Clooney, all right. Jean Dujardin, Gary Oldman, and Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Biased. Okay, actress in a leading role. Glenn Close. This is tough. This is a tough category. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to go slow. Glenn Close, mm -hmm. Viola Davis. Okay. Rooney Mara, Meryl Streep, and Michelle Williams. Well, I, I'm going to say an actress in a leading role. Now, Merle Streep is definitely He's legendary. Is definitely m one of my favorite actress, but uh, actresses. But I would have to say Viola Davis because when I tell you she really played that role in the help, and I'm not saying it because I'm an African American, so is she. I'm going off of the talent, and I think that even though Merle Streep is icon, let's share Merle. And let's make sure that Viola Davis get her due. Because she said in one of her acceptance speeches, I don't know if anybody saw the NAACP Awards, but she said that she, the help has given her her voice. The help has given her her platform. So the help has pushed her into, uh, in, in, into being one of the A-list celebrities. And if anyone, and today we're going to be talking about natural hair, if anyone seen oh my God, that cover yes. with her with that natural hair that they said Oscar James did, now we got to get Oscar on the air so we can talk about that, but Viola Davis is absolutely beautiful. And you know, we've been talking, Seven, I'm going to stop, but we've been talking a lot about beauty, because this is Beauty Talk Radio, and we've been talking a lot about self-esteem and dark skin and all that kind of stuff, and I'm just so excited to see that beautiful, dark brown skin and to see uh, uh the um the 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 supporting actress i can't think of her name right now what's her name she has the best smile in the world i saw her on it, ellen it'll come to me it's in my notes from last week but when i tell you and with her thick with her thick shape and all of that it's just great to see something that's out of the norm because in a few minutes seven, we're going to talk about these uh statistics when it comes to the oscars and i just think that um i'm just really i'm really i'm really proud today Go okay ahead, i've got to get the directors now the artist the descendants hugo midnight in paris and tree of life mm -hmm. george clooney the descendants that's my pick Okay, very good. Well, he, I mean, he's the actor, but I'm saying that's the movie he's in, and it's getting a lot of buzz, so I think that'll be the winner. I understand. Okay, Seven, let's go directly into... Um, Can our I give you my statistics first? Okay. Okay. So, you know, we all watch the Oscars, and we hear about it and talk about it every year, but I don't think people really understand who the Academy is. You know, it's a group of people, and it's so coincidental. It was on the news this morning that 57% of the voting academy is both white and male. Hmm. So it's not really representative of the audience that goes out and sees all of the movies. So people are, you know, complaining and trying to get themselves 
submitted into the academy. So they go out and they make their votes. And, you know, sometimes it reflects the voice of, you know, the public and other times it doesn't. Mm. So what do you think about that? Well, let me just share with our listeners. Um, you know, I mean, I have my own thoughts, but I want to move forward. Let me just share with our listeners. If, in case you didn't know that the Oscars, which is the 84th Annual Academy 84th. Award, it comes on this Sunday, February 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm-hmm. Now, the the Academy Award is an accolade bestowed, of course, you know, by the American uh, of Academy the, the Academy of Motion, of Motion Pictures, mm-hmm. Arts and Sciences. And, of course, it is to recognize excellence in, you know, excellence in the film industry, including the directors, actors and writers and all of that. Now, what I think that's important is the formal ceremony of which the awards of merit are presented is one of the most prominent award ceremonies in the world. Now, it is televised live in more than 100 countries annually. However, the first broadcast was not televised. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Okay. It is also the oldest award ceremony in the media. Its equivalents, which is the Grammys for music, the Emmy Awards for television, and the Tony Awards for theater. Okay. All of those are modeled after the Academy. So this is supposed to be like the, the thing. The, exactly. So when we have someone like Viola Davis and others that have been nominated and, and, and you know, uh, may have an introduction into the Academy um, by receiving an award, it's just a major thing. So again, this week we're talking, we're discussing independent filmmakers and we have Yolanda Lee and Richard Lewis of the film it's only a natural so seven why don't you let's bring them on alonzo and seven why don't you uh tell us a little about their background we're so excited okay great so yolanda lee is an actress and a model for 10 years she signed commercially in new york through an agency called cesd she has done commercial print acting she has agents across the country seven national commercials regional commercials, print ads, runway. I mean, she's definitely, wow. you know, done her part. I and mean, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. So, you know, what's really unique is that she's a determined woman. She's commuting between New York and Richmond. And as a commuter, I have to tell you, that's not easy. Richmond. Uh, yes, Richmond, Virginia. Her family owns a restaurant there called Mama J's. Okay. And so that's where she's been in production. I wonder if she can cook. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop. Okay. And then she has a partner. He is Richard Lewis. Now, this is the person who is producing, directing the film. Is this a boyfriend part? No, 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 no. no. In the project. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I can't speak for that. And, you know, (laughs) his background in film goes back to his childhood. Um, this is second grade, even where he's loved the arts and he attended Virginia Commonwealth University. VCU? Stop it. I'm sorry co-produced and directed Jam 107.3, a local video show. Two decades later, he's even giving back to his community, and he started an organization called Latchkey Kids Productions. So these are two young movers and shakers with opinions, and I really want to talk to you. All right, well, let's welcome them to the show. Do we have Richard Lewis and Yolanda Lee on board? Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning. Is Richard on as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, very good. Well, first of all, Richard, you know, let's start with. Now, you went to Virginia Commonwealth. Now, what year did you come out? Um, I'm on a lifetime program, so <laughs> I, I went in. Love it. I went in in 1988. Uh, <laughs> Okay. And the re- the reason why I thought that was really something because now I went to Virginia Union in 1986, and in '88 I transferred to Morehouse College. So, yeah. Uh-huh. So I transferred to Morehouse College, but I was at so so it, when I so you was going in in '88 and I was moving on '88. Okay, I just had to get that out. All right, now we're gonna have to go to a commercial break. But bef- I'm sorry, say that again. We probably crossed paths at Virginia Union. I'm from the Richmond area, so a lot of my childhood, especially my high school years, I did spend a lot of time at Virginia Union. Okay, very good, very good. All right, now we're gonna have to go to a commercial break. But when we come back, I want to know all about. It's only a natural. I want you to share with our listening audience. We have thousands of listeners, and I want you to share with them how did this come about. It started as a documentary. 
uh, or uh, it's, it started as a documentary about black women's hair and it ended up about a black woman's journey. So listen to me, everybody. I want you to stay tuned. Stay at that radio dial. We're going to be right back. This is the Sea Island Morning Show with Seven Brown and Sea Island. We're talking about it's only a natural. We'll be back after these messages.